Hi, uh, how's it going, bros? So today, um, as per your request, some of you, I'm gonna be doing a room tour. <laughs> I don't know how to begin this or how to do this, honestly. So I'm just gonna show you around. Let's go. So I live in the basement of my family's house, and so when you enter, it's a, you got a pretty narrow entrance right here. And to the right, we have the nice uh, room divider right there from Ikea. And to the left, we have my dresser, my closet. It's filled with pictures of my family, myself included. This is from my trip from to uh, Bush Gardens for my orchestra trip in middle school. And that's me in elementary. Inside the closet, you could find um, not only clothes, but a bunch of anime figure boxes. <laughs> so as you can see, it's quite um, jammed pack, actually. I don't know how I managed to do this. There's like rows in the back. So many boxes. I'm not going to show them all, but we're gonna, we'll, we'll see all the figures at some point. But it's basically Tetris. There's more down there, even. So many boxes. Over here, oh, we have a mirror. Hey, guys. More clothes, of course. And then the Mayor Kurosaki bunny figure box. It's so big, it had to go in its own shelf. Uh, behind the divider, I have some boxes down there for shipping. Uh, dirty clothes hamper. Uh, computer parts. I'll explain that in a bit. Uh, some stuff for sale right there. I put the Megumi bunny figure box out there because it's also massive. Let's see, I got my base amp right here. Got it from my friend for like, I don't know, 30 bucks. That's uh, my guitar amp right there. And now the cool part, I think. Um, it's my wall. So basically, this is what you guys see in the background. Um, it's just a bunch of posters that I bought from conventions and from stores. Let's go through them. First little poster we have here is actually from the Gardens of the Galaxy Volume 2 movie. I got that from AMC. Next one is pretty cool. I like this one. Weathering with You. Got this one also from AMC. And lastly, the Avengers Endgame movie poster. Also from AMC. We have a very cute Hanako poster. We have Drip Goku. Look at that, Master Ultra is thick. I got this from the uh, an art festival, actually. Pretty cool. Got the waifu poster, of course. How could you not? We have a Hatsune Miku, my favorite vocal lord of all time. Of course, my wall wouldn't be complete without some Kimetsu no Yaiba. I got this from uh, Katsukon, actually. It's a very nice artist. So good. I love the style. We have a spicy zero two. Look at that. Look at the drip. These next couple posters I actually got from Little Thing Majigs. First one here we have Re Zero. It's literally just the season one poster. It's pretty cool though. Okay. The Promised Neverland. A very very cute poster of Amelia in Rem. Here we got Fairy Tail. Of course, of course, more Demon Slayer. And then these next few are actually a couple of my favorites, actually. Uh, all, these are also from Katsukan 2020. It's just a really cool artwork because if you could tell, I don't know if you could tell, but the background's actually real. It's a real life photograph, and the artist just drew the uh, Hashira. Above it. It's really cool. Of course, to pair with the Hashra, we have the Upper Moons. Also, the background of this one, it's the same style as that one. The background of this one's also a real life photograph with the characters illustrated on top of it.
And now the opposite wall of the one we just looked at is actually a wall you guys don't normally see. So this is gonna be new content. We have my first figure cabinet filled with all, well, a couple of my figures. Top of my uh, figure cabinet, I have some of the K-On boxes up there. But yeah, let's go take a look at some of my figures in the cabinet here. I'll probably do a whole, uh, a more in-depth figure tour at some point. Not today though. Very cool. And then we have another Goku Master Ultra Instinct. I might sell this one honestly, but I don't know. And then this one is honestly probably my favorite shelf because it's just all Megamine. <laughs> and then on this sad shelf, <laughs> we have two pop two pop Funkos. Selling the Steven one, by the way. And then we have the nice Lucy pop up parade. We go down another level. We have some snow globes from Hershey and uh, Disney World. A hedgehog statue, and this panda I got from orientation at George Mason. Next up is going to be my first shelf that's on top of my dresser. Behind this autographed hamber hamburger backpack from Steven Universe is my pin board. Um, it's very empty at the moment. It's growing, it's a growing thing. We have a bunch of Pokemon. Uh, the mythical collection, actually. Let me go ahead and take a look at the shelf itself. We have some manga right here. We have uh, Bunny Girl, Rent a Girlfriend, Sweetness and Lightning, Uzaki. We have Love is Hard for an Otaku, uh, To Love Rue. And behind this, actually, I have all my Nendoroid boxes. If you can see, yep, there we go. We have my Nendoroid boxes in the back. But yeah, we have the Aqua Pop Up Parade, some Nendoroids, and more Mega Mean. And then over here it continues with the To Love Rue manga. And then as well as the Ichika box in a Shotoge and Endor box in the back. And of course, we have JoJo. Got this game. I, I wanted to play this. Truth or Dev, you guys know what it is. Crazy hot hot sauce. Haven't played it yet. Got some more card games. Sim DS games actually. Egg. And we have more manga. Mysterious Girlfriend X. One through five. And then we have a nice Megumi figure sitting on top of it. Next up is a bunch of my video games. We have, as you can see right here, we have some Switch, a bunch of Xbox One games. And right next to the video games, we have all of my art books. Konosuba, To Love Rue, uh, New Game, Demon Slayer. All right, and around the border of the uh, this shelf, I just taped a bunch of little uh, business cards and pictures or whatever from uh, Katsukon. Because some of the illustrations are honestly pretty nice. Look at that. Look at that one. And now as we wrap around to my next figure cabinet, uh, my favorite figure cabinet actually because it has all of the K on figures. On top, I have all the uh, Nendoroids set up there. Look at that. That's adorable. And then we have the 1 8 figures from Altar all set up here. I'll probably move them, honestly. That's to a better spot. Kind of cramped in there. And then my 5th anniversary k -On figures. I'm still missing Asuza. I have not found a good deal for it yet. And then to the left of it is the uh, Circuit Breaker, actually, funny enough. There you go. Just a bunch of electrical switches, but I decided to decorate a bit with uh, some of the Tokyo Taco Mode post-it postcards and a nice little Made in Abyss art right there from uh, SPX as well. And then more uh, postcards from Ami Ami. And then this uh, caricature, char caricature of me I got from, uh, actually, I actually don't remember where I got this. I think I got it from Fort Belvoir, some kind of festival happening there probably. It's me playing Pokemon Go, catching a ditto. My favorite Pokemon. And then we look down, we got my trash. How exciting. Next up we have my Tanjiro Manga Sword. Um, I'm not gonna open it, because I'm actually, hint hint, I'm making a short film, hopefully. Hopefully, oh! And we look up, we got a Pokemon poster and a Zelda poster. Destiny. The predetermined course of events considered as something beyond human power or control. And then we wrap around to what I think is my favorite part of my entire room. 
the computer desk, and manga. And right here is the position that um, most of you guys are familiar with. Is uh, literally just sitting at my desk. I have my Joby tripod just set up right there in the corner of the desk. Got my wallpaper engine set up to do the quintessential quintuplets. Because look at that, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. But you may be wondering, why is this monitor turned off? Well, here's the thing. I don't have... I don't have a PC. I'm currently just running it, running these monitors off of my laptop, which sits under here actually. It's a Microsoft laptop too. Just have HDMI going up. Pretty jank, honestly. The struggle, the struggle to find this graphics card, this mythical graphics card. I don't think I'm ever gonna find one. Of course, we got the PewDiePie keyboard. RGB greatness. Um, it's got some random wireless vertical mouse here. It's pretty nice, honestly. We have the nice PewDiePie chair. So I can do this. It's kind of hard to see my desk itself. It's actually a super nice desk. I got it from Ikea as well. Along with basically all the furniture in my room. But it's a really nice desk, honestly. You got cup holders. Of course, the main the main reason I brought this desk is because I have a bunch of figures and I need a place to display it. And I thought it was perfect, absolutely perfect, to just put it on top. And I would have my monitors in the bottom, of course. But yeah. And behind the figures, I have some really, really nice artwork from Katsukon, illustrated by Muddy Melly. But yeah, uh, Megami, you'll have to move here too, you're too thick. We have a very, very beautiful Demon Slayer poster, look at that. That's actually amazing, I love this artist. So good. Sorry for the glare, it's actually, it's still, all my poses are still in this plastic wrap. Mostly because I want to protect them as much as possible. And then, right over here we have a very... Oh, such a good Shinobu poster. Thanks, Bala. He actually got this for me. Forgot to mention I have my Xbox One just set up here. Very nice. I also put a Shoko sticker right there. And next to it I just have my headphones just sitting there. My headphones behind the manga shelf is another uh, katana. We have Rengoku's. Beautiful cantata. I'll actually show this one. Look at that. That's freaking dope. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I forgot. I forgot how awesome this looks. I haven't taken this out in a while. There we go. And it's actual metal. It's actually pretty heavy. Pretty hefty. Also, listen to how satisfying this sounds when you put it in its, uh, in its sheath. Ooh! The click at the end, and that metal rubbing against the wood. That might just be me satisfied about that sound, but... Now for what all you weebs have been waiting for. The manga collection. Oh my gosh, um, so... I'm pretty sure many of you th will think, geez, this is massive, how much money have you spent? You, you, you don't want to know. And in front of all the beautiful manga, I have my guitars. I have my Epiphone Les Paul Standard Pro model here. It's obviously a similar version of Yui's guitar in K-On. Not as amazing as a Le uh, Gibson Les Paul. And then next to it we have, of course, the uh, Squire Jazz Bass, same one that Mio has. Well, not the same one. Mio has a Fender. I think last but not least is this. My violin. Put stickers on it. Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, Silent Voice. More Silent Voice. Epiphone. Ah, look at that. I'm practicing lately. And then there's my messy bed. But there's actually
actually one more thing I'd actually like to share. It's not in my room, it's in my bathroom, funny enough. But yeah, we have some shelves here with uh, your, your, your toiletries and then some figures just sitting there. That is pretty nice. Got the nice Shinobu on a chair. Just look at that smug face. Look at that. And above the poop machine, we have a very, very nice cityscape wall art of Tokyo. And then small Groot. And with that, guys, that's the conclusion of my uh, 2021 room tour. Um, funny enough, this is actually like the fifth iteration of how I organized and rearranged all the furniture and stuff in my room. But I think I think this is its final, its final version. Yeah, let me know what you think about my room. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. And of course, guys, thanks for watching as always. I'll see you all you weebs in the next video.